Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on the GX470. This is a 2004, uh, it's about 18 or 19 years old at this point, and I'm helping my father-in-law just kind of clean it up a little bit. So today we ended up getting some WeatherTech floor mats for this thing. So the regular floor mats, the 3D printed ones or the 3D imaged ones, so the front fit pretty well. But for the back mat here, you actually have to trim out the little spots so you can use your third row seat along with any of the hooks and everything back here for cargo. So on today's video, we'll go ahead and cut that thing out and I'll show you how to do it. So stay tuned. So for the front driver's one, it's a pretty easy install. It's just basically remove the old mat, put the new one in. This one actually came with these new hooks right here. So you replace the original OEM hooks. So you basically replace the OEM hooks with these longer ones from WeatherTech. I think the OEM hooks will work just fine, but they're still gray and these are black. So I just went ahead and changed those out. So that's pretty easy on this side. The passenger side is pretty easy too, but they do come with an optional hook right here that you can add onto here if you choose. They just give you a simple screw screw in one and what I did was I put this mat on here first I drilled a small pilot hole so I could get that shank into there and then I just twisted it on until it was tight but all it does is to keep it from moving and for the backside mat this one goes on pretty simple and easy it does come shipped rolled up in the box so you have to actually leave it in here for like a day or so in the sun and the heat will help just let it form out and get back to normal shape. So back here for the trunk mat, as you can see it, this version of it, which is a newer version, actually comes with a cutout template already. So you can actually cut it out and use it. Some of the earlier versions this didn't have it and people used to just basically just take it out and kind of cut out their own spot so they could actually mount it in here. You could use it without cutting it, but it'll just sit like this and anytime you want to use your third row seats, you actually have to remove this whole thing. So you can actually put the foot down for those things but most people that get this usually don't want to have to deal with that so we'll just go ahead and remove all this today and i'll show you how to take everything out and then cut this thing and put it all back in again this mat also comes rolled up in a tiny ass box right here this little thin box is what this came in and you actually have to leave it here for like a day or so so everything just kind of evens out and flattens out so back here what we're gonna have to do is remove this right here this covers on all sides and there's actually a screw back there that helps you unbolt that thing so you can take these things up same with these guys right here you can flip these things up unbolt it and this whole thing comes out and once it does that we can put the new floor mat in that's cut already and then just put this thing over it and wedge it inside there so we'll end up using a razor blade to cut this thing right here before we even decide on cutting it i want to take those things out make sure we're covering enough we're going to make sure that we cut enough so we can get that thing in there with probably maybe a quarter inch of gap or clearance so that way it covers that up and we don't have any gap so before we start we want to just go ahead and just pop this thing off and it's just a either a phillips or a 10 millimeter right here so we'll pop all four of these out and then we'll go ahead and just shoot that thing off to remove it there's one clip in the middle that you got to pop out and that's pretty much it while you're in here you might as well vacuum everything up get rid of everything this thing looks like we're getting some kind of moisture in here and some corrosion this whole thing comes out right there so we pretty much do that for all four sides and we'll get these things out and we'll cut these holes on the other end and make sure we can put this thing back together all right so i cleaned these things all up and i kind of measured it so what is kind of weird is even though weather tech did the little trim and the template it's still too small at least the length of it to clear these guys right here on the end so if you slide it right over you can see if, if even if you cut it all the way to the end you'll still hit where the bolt is on both ends as far as the width goes yeah you still want to be within the inside of this width right there to basically cover it up because the lip of this thing basically is the same size as the width of this guy so you can pretty much trim the whole entire inside part and still get it basically to cover when you go over like this i'm gonna go ahead and go all the way to the end here i might leave a little bit on the sides just in case over here on the side here 
this thing is much smaller than that so you want to trim a little bit inside of this to get this thing just to go inside and then the lip will just basically go over this part So before I moved any further, I wanted to make sure I test fit everything and I put it in here. So the way I cut it, I left a little lip on the sides here just in case to hang over. On the ends, I went all the way to the end. I used scissors along here just to make sure it was a straighter line. But yeah, overall it fits pretty well. I snapped this thing on. If I slide this thing back right here as far as I can towards the back of the car, I can slide this in and it'll clear the back lip there. It'll align the hole right there perfectly for what we need, except the front right here, the edge right there, you can see you have to trim a little bit right here just to get to that hole on the front end. So that's probably what I'm gonna do, just so that way it's probably the best fit. So the back I'll leave alone, and the front I'll just trim, a, I'll notch out a little spot right there just to clear that part. All right, I was able to notch it out on the top, as you can see there. With that notch, it was able to get in here and actually tuck it in there and clear that screw. So once I go in here and I tuck it on the back side here, snap that down, I'm able to get the bolt in on the top and tighten it down up there and then also back here. So we'll go ahead and stick with that for now and we'll go ahead and do the rest of them and see how everything lines up once we bolt it down. We got everything lined up. It looks like it fits pretty well. Everything is notched out on this side and over here. This thing from WeatherTech is a little bit short on this side. It doesn't look like it lines up up here. It's a little bit further back on this one. On the top here, it looks good. On that side, it looks good. So it's just these rear ones that are a little bit off, but it should be able to bolt down fine back here. So we'll go ahead and put everything back together and see how it looks. So after getting this first one in, as you can see, it's kind of off by maybe a half inch backwards. So I might have to just shift this whole thing forward a little bit just so those four on the corners can line up better. And then this one, I might end up having a notch a little bit back here so I can slide it forward a little bit. I think that's gonna be the best way to do this just because of how far back, see how misaligned it is on these four corners. We were able to make all the adjustments, get everything kind of lined up perfectly as far as the edges go. So this fits right in between there. Back here, fits pretty well there. All around here it fits. The only thing you're gonna notice is right here there's some bulges and that's really the bolts that hold these anchors down on either side. There's bolts there. So they, even with the carpet, there was a slight bulge but you didn't notice it. But now with this thing, you can see it's obvious. So other than that, it looks pretty good right there from far away. Now you'll be able to use this along with the third row and anything else with the cargo nets and everything with the hooks and then still be able to kind of hose this down and wipe it down as you need to. Hey guys, thanks for joining me all the way to the end of the video on getting this floor mat cut out for the GX470. As you can see, it's a pretty simple process. It'll probably take you like 15 to 20 minutes to cut it out and fit it in there. And it's also a good time to clean up any corrosion and dirt and dust and anything under the carpets that you have there. If you guys need the links to these products that I installed here, go ahead and check out the links down in the description. If you haven't subscribed to my channel to stay on top of all my different DIY videos, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Turn on bell notifications to get notified every time I upload a video. Remember guys, for all these different DIY projects, if I can do it, you guys can do it. I wanna thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.